Hi, I'm Gabriella, I'm a certified animal health technician. And I'm Alex, a certified dog trainer. And today we're going to show you how to teach your dog one of the most important commands, the leave it command. So this is something that we can use if we drop something or if our dog spots something that is potentially toxic or dangerous. Um, and that way we can help to avoid potential emergencies. Today we're working with Doug the pug. Now the most important thing when training this command is that he can't get the food while we're teaching this because if he does manage to get it, we're only going to be teaching him to be faster than us. So to start, we're going to have Doug on a leash so that we have full control of him. I also never reward with the item that I asked him to leave. Once I say leave it, I want him to think that this item is poison because one day it might be. So I'm actually going to have another tastier treat to reward him with to make it worth his while. Now Doug is clicker trained and while this is not an absolute necessity to learn the command, it will make training a lot easier. So you can check out our clicker training video first. So the first step is I'm covering the treat so he can smell it and he knows it's there but he can't get to it. And I'm just going to wait for that split second where he stops trying to get at it to reward that behavior. And that might be a lot longer depending on just how food motivated he is, but we just need to be patient and reward the exact moment that he stops trying. And that's why the clicker is such a good training tool for this. Wow, good boy. <laughs> okay, so I'll put the, uh, the word to it now. Okay. Leave it. Yes, good. Good. The next step is going to be allowing him to see the tree, but still making sure that he's never able to get it. If you have someone else with you, you can always have them hold the leash just to be extra sure. Because remember, if he does manage to get it, all he's going to learn is that he needs to be faster than us. Leave it. Yes, very good. Good boy. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Now Doug is understanding what it is he needs to do to get his reward because he's consistently not going for the treat on the first time that I ask him not to. So we're going to take it to the next step and we're going to expect him to leave it for a little bit longer period of time before rewarding him. Ah, ah, ah. <coughs> leave it. It's okay that he's being vocal and complaining because he's still leaving the tree alone. So I'm just going to be careful and reward him while he's being quiet so that he doesn't learn to bark at the treat. Now that Doug is consistently leaving it for a couple seconds at a time, we're going to try to make this a little bit harder for him. We're going to ask him to leave a falling treat. So Alex has Doug on a leash so that she can control him, make sure that he's not able to get to that treat. And whenever we're training something new or moving on to the next step, we need to make sure to reward our dogs for being on the right track. So even though Doug initially went for the treat when Alex threw it, we're still gonna reward him once he stops trying to get to it. No. Okay, Doug, leave it. The next step is going to be that we're only going to offer the reward if he doesn't initially go after the treat. Leave it. Good boy. Leave it. There's no discipline involved in training whatsoever. We're using positive reinforcement only. So we're just simply going to not reward him that time and we're going to try again. Leave it. Good boy. Very good. Very good. That was very good. Good boy. 
Once your dog is consistently leaving a falling treat, you can also try asking them to leave something that they find on the ground during a walk. Again, we're going to start with the leash, make sure we have full control, make sure he's not able to get that cookie if he decides to break the command. Keep practicing. Learning is all about repetition. But keep your training sessions short, always end on a positive note, and before your dog gets bored. Don't rush into the next step until your dog is ready. You want to make sure that he's consistently getting it right, 10 times out of 10, before moving on to the next step. If you make it too hard, then he'll get frustrated and he won't want to learn. Finish your training sessions by asking him to do something that's easy and that he's good at so that you end on a positive note and that training remains fun. Mm-hmm.